Okay. Someone said, I've ever worked with Phil's brother. Uh, I didn't even know Phil had a brother. <laughs> <laughs> have I ever worked with any Christian artist? Um, actually, yes. Um, first time I came to the States, I worked with uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Unfortunately, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> playing the piano. I started playing the piano very, very late. I started playing the piano when I was like 17, 18. I was in, already in college and I was uh, actually studying to be a medical doc. I was a medical student and I realized that music was where I wanted to go. So. Uh, do I have a special preference? I just missed the person's name. I actually love all styles of music, um, you know, you know, by default I'm a jazz piano player, I love jazz, but I love everything from pop to R&B to reggae to rock to hip hop to dance, you know, I love them all. And why not? <laughs> Ngazi says playing piano is your gift, thank you Ngazi. <laughs> Kenny 79 says, do you have a lot of live performances? Um, when I was a touring musician, I used to like do that a lot, but now that I, I focus mostly on songwriting production, I don't do a lot of traveling unless I do uh, special uh, appearances, like the one I did with David Prosper and Andrea Bocelli. You know, I do stuff like that. Maybe I can play um, in this, in a, in this, um, with an artist on a TV show, you know, so. Great question, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Murray is asking, are you going to do more bubble tweets in the future? I am definitely going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. When will we see Lisa's documentary about you? And that's from Madonna. Um, I think it's still being shot. Um, and it's chronicled essentially when I came into this country, my struggles and, you know, and how things have been shaping up. So it's going to be inspiring because I don't think anyone has ever talked about, you know, having a dream and the journey. People always show you, you know, 
the Bentleys and the big flashy cars, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm balling. But nobody actually shows you the struggle you go through when you're going after a dream. So that documentary actually shows that. And hopefully that's going to help a lot of people. And I'm proud to be one of uh, the subjects of the documentary. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Art song was another day as an artist I want to work with that I haven't. I really, really wanted to work with Michael Jackson, but unfortunately, never got a chance to. Mm. So, I'm really bummed about that. <laughs> There's a lot of questions about David at the Friends and Family Grammy pre-party. Can you talk about that party at all? I was if I ever uh, met MJ. Oh yeah, the, the party was actually fun. It was a last minute thing. Um, and David had a lot of fun. He met a lot of his uh, his, uh, his, uh, his peers there. I mean, uh, he, was, he met a lot of artists there. A lot of them recognized him. A lot of them walked up to him and hugged him. So he had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun. Was he shy at the party? I don't think he was. I don't think he was. <laughs> um, did he dance? Yeah, I saw him bust a move once or twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to know how do I, how do I write a song? Like I said, sometimes you know, uh, I sit on the piano and I just noodle, just messing around, and in the process, something resonates with me, like a chord or something, and I start making words to it, and before you know it, you have you know a song. And sometimes you have it instantly, or sometimes you have to come back and rewrite over and over again. Did I bust the move? Yeah, I think once or twice. <laughs> I bust the move on the dance floor because the music was really good. Estelle performed that night and it was really cool. 